Hi everybody, this is Patrick Altmeyer, and I'm going to show you how to set up the Mandrel app settings uh, for your domain using cPanel. First thing you need to do is to go to mandrelapp.com, enter your username and password. If you don't have an account yet, or you're going to get a different page, because I've already been here, it'll give you a generic page that'll ask you to sign in, and up here somewhere it'll say login if you already have an account. If you don't, you sign up for men uh, for men. Mandrill and just follow the easy steps. Okay, I've already done that and I'm going to show you my domain over here in cPanel. I went to Synthetic Motorwells Benefits and Advantages.com, which is my Amazon website. And anytime I send somebody an email using my name, John at Synthetic Motorwell Benefits and Advantages.com, it ends up in the spam folder. So this prevents it. So the first thing we need to do is to create an email. I'm going to call one temp and I'm going to enter a simple password. And okay, we're all good now. Now what you want to do is you want to go home and we're going to add up a, CT, a CSPF entry. See where it says email authentication? You go in there, you open it up and we have Everything already set up. I already put it in here, so I want to hit remove just to show you how simple it is. Uh, uh, let me uncheck this. Update. Go back. And now let me hit remove. I don't know, it's not removing it for something. Anyway, what you do is you hit add and, and you paste this spf.mandrelapp.com into here, hit OK, and I'll add a new one because I can't figure out how to remove it right now. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're going to add it. And you get your settings in here. When you go into Mandrel Apps, you see you get free 12,000 emails a month you can send out for free, which is for most of us, that is way more than enough. So you come over here and you go to sending domains. You're going to put your domain in here and hit add. I've already added mine, but it's just simple. You just hit the add button. Now here you see it says they're okay, but I removed them. So as you see, well, this one's working now because we added the SPF. And where I got that from is I click the SPF settings and you only copy spf.mandrelapp.com. That's it. You close it out. And when we went to see panel under authentication, you hit paste in here. And then you hit OK. Now it's added. Now we don't want to add any more, so check the all entry box and hit update. As you can see, it added it. It has plus include mandrelapp.com, which is what it showed over here. Now see how it already fixed it? I'm going to hit DNS again and see how this one's valid because we added it. But now we got to add the DKIM settings. So you want to copy this. It's hard to copy, so you have to use either Chrome or uh, Firefox. I'm using Pell Moon, which is the same thing as Firefox. You hit copy. Come back over to cPanel Authentication. Hit go to the home page. Okay, see where it says Advanced DNS Zone Editor? Go over there. Under name, you're going to type in mandrel dot underscore domain key Dot. That's it. It'll automatically add your domain with a dot at the end, so don't put anything in there. The TTL is already listed here. Just use one of these. Mine is 14400. And now I'm going to put in my text record. And now my address, the text data, just hit paste. You add the record and everything is fine. Now some domains you'll get an error when you do this. It'll Because you'll need a have a backslash in front of the uh, semicolon. So what you do is you open up Notepad, paste your code in here, and then under Edit, hit Replace, put in a semicolon, and replace it with a backslash, which is the uh, slash just above the Enter key and a semicolon. Hit Replace All, close it out, and copy it. See how everyone has a backslash? Yours might need it. 99% of the hosts nowadays do not need it. So now we're done, right? We added it. Let's go back to Mandrel Labs and see if it works. 
Okay, see how it's not there? I'm going to hit DNS. Boom, now it's working. This is Patrick Altmeyer. There it is. Hope you like this video. You see how simple it is using cPanel. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.